This is Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we're in Battle Axe and we are on Pearl River Encounter. Now we get the good spawn. Now what do I mean by the good spawn? I mean some maps are so incredibly unbalanced um, by the way they're set up that one side will always have the advantage over the other. I could I could make a list most likely but sometimes it's just not necessary. We all know some of the maps. Uh, this is one of the Pearl River. Um, when you're an encounter, you're literally given the high ground on the map. That is a huge advantage. Huge. Not sure where, you know, because Wargaming does a pretty good job with their um, authenticity and stuff like that, making pretty, pretty awesome tank models and stuff. And, using guns and all the all the research that they do before they make things but they forget some of the simplest things like when it comes to balance of maps um, giving a team high ground is a, a huge disadvantage to the other team because well you you might argue well Spartan the other team gets the the cliff in the middle that overlooks it yeah well unfortunately for them that's all they get so you're putting them out in the middle of nowhere and you're putting us with trees and bushes and stuff to hide us and we get the higher ground than they do so uh yeah this is incredibly unbalanced but as you can see our little uh buddy down there in the bat chat 12 ton just had about seven thousand rounds try to kill him luckily he got away <laughs> you know that's just gonna be one of those things that you look back on and go how did he get away when it's not like he really did anything other than slide off the cliff after he'd already been hit three or four times? Uh, but yeah, we see a Death Star. He's down in the middle trench. There's nothing I can do about that. There's a hill between us, but there is a tortoise here. And uh, unfortunately, this 13105 is playing in the perfect spot to get right in my way as I was able to shoot at the tortoise, but unfortunately he disappears and I can't get a gun on it. So I'm just waiting. You got to be patient. That's the biggest thing about the Death Star that most people get wrong. Be patient. They will be there. You know they're there. So just wait. Give yourself time. And that little 13105 does it again. He sees me here. And he is literally parking directly in front of me now. It's like, really, guy? Really? So that alone could potentially get me killed. Okay, when you're in a scout, I understand that you don't want to get spotted and shot, but you got to understand you're a small target. For them to hit you at this, oh, hello, tortoise. Oh, hit the flat spot, please. Shot out. Pow! <laughs> right into the flat spot of his armor. Does it penetrate, guys? Yes, it does. 1,612 damage. All of his health gone leaving him with 18 hit points good night tortoise <laughs> and we take a couple rounds in in uh, response to it or at least one anyway but given that i was on the back side of a ridge line and as soon as i fired i backed up all they hit was the turret and pinning the turret of the death star unless you hit the flat spot near the top of the turret where the uh viewports or commander's hatches and whatnot are or the drivers or whatever you know all the little hatches up there there's a flat spot at the top of the turret if you hit that you'll pin it but if you hit any of that angled stuff i don't care what you're shooting unless it's he because he will damage no matter what um well i say no matter what i have bounced he which is mind-boggling but anyway so the, you're gonna bounce off the turret of the death star and so uh, that's just one thing you don't want to shoot at unless you're shooting HE. Because the likelihood that you bounce versus the likelihood that you actually hit where you're aiming is, uh, you know, one of those things. Now, I move over towards the center. We've got a Centurion 7-1 here. We've got a Death Star. And I immediately go for the Death Star. I'm like, okay, Death Star is the biggest threat. Aim in, aim in, aim in. Oh, the money shot. Pow! And we cook him. Is he gonna die? Yes, he is. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 1776. It's like it was meant to be. Now that might be a rough day for you uh, British folks. So the fact that I'm in a British tank in the the time 1776 
yeah, probably not your best moment. But, <laughs> all joking aside, we have a shot on the E5, broadside on. Now, if I hit the right spot and not his track, that's a pin, and sure enough, we hit just underneath his turret. That was a paddle in 1810. It's like every shot we get is a little bit more than the last. <laughs> and he immediately gets deleted after we fire. So, definitely being in a good position on high ground, being able to look at how much map I'm able to affect without very with very little movement. I mean, I've covered what two thirds of the map at this point. The Centurion Seven One, and we rushed the shot. What did I tell you about patience, folks? Where does it hit the building? Of course, because you know, rushing a shot in a Death Star ends badly. And the best part is, he didn't even run any further. If I would have just been a little bit more patient, waited, I'd have had another paddling. And an even better game. So, uh, definitely one of those times where you wish you had the shot back, but unfortunately you don't get the shot back. Can we redeem ourselves on this Lorraine? We're watching, we're watching, he's behind a hill, and he's making a break for it, shot out! Pow! <laughs> right through the side. How does he live through that? The only reason he lived is because of a mercy roll. That was the side of his turret on a tank that has no armor with a 183mm hash round. That should have blown that turret halfway off of map. Like, that, that turret should have landed back on the arty somewhere. Like, <laughs> that's how bad that shot should have killed him. But, you know, it's a thing. You know, mercy rolls do happen. The, the, <laughs> the single worst thing I think Wargaming has ever done to this game. Even though I like most of the changes they make, that's one that I wish they had took back. That and autoloaders. Hate them both. But I uh, hate mercy rolls more than autoloaders, because at least autoloaders, I mean, you know what's going to happen. So, I, I forgot about this stage 2 down here, and luckily, he fires armor piercing out of his 183, and there's that turret for you. Told you, you hit the turret of a Death Star, there's very little chance that you're going to pin it. So, uh, yeah, now I'm rushing downhill at him. Can I get there before he reloads? Are we going to be able to clean him up? He doesn't have much health left, and, you know, 8,000 silver for this is probably a little bit overkill. But, that's all I carry. So, uh, wait for it. Hello, sunshine! Oh, who's going to die? And it's him. <laughs> you gotta love it. 170 damage is all he had left to give, and I took it all from him. Now, I'm going to speed up the game a little bit here, because I go arty hunting, and, you know, I'm not the fastest tank in the world. And I apologize for the fact that the Death Star currently sounds like a lawnmower. But, it's a thing, you know. So we're making our way downtown. I know there's a song in there somewhere. But it's a newer song, so I refuse to sing it. And we're going to go arty hunting. Now, we got two guys capping the base. I'm like, guys, why are you capping the base? It's one arty. Let's just go kill him. There's no reason to cap him. And here, I make a decision. Do I go right? Or do I go left? I'm thinking he moved into the center because that would make most sense. Uh, he would be able to take a shot on the or, or guys on the flag. But unfortunately, he goes to the right and our 704 that was with us takes the kill. So what do we end up with, guys? 7,100 damage, 1,540 block. Thank you, Stage 2, for your uh, armor piercing. Top of the leaderboard, not bad. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.